Hi, I'm Giga Loopsy, and this is my beautiful model, Isabel. And today we're going to do a rainbow zebra. So the colors we're going to use today are uh, neon purple, neon pink, and white. And these are tag colors, except for my white is diamond effects. I cut colors and put them into this disc. I'm also using a black triangle makeup sponge. I'm first going to wet my makeup sponge. And when we do a zebra, the nose is going to be down here around her chin area. So what I'm going to do first is load up my colors, all these pretty neon colors, onto my sponge. And I'm going to apply it around the muzzle area. I want to keep this area black, so I'm not going to put any paint right there for now. I'm just going to daub this on all the way around in a circle area. Pick up a little bit more water, a little bit more paint. All right, coming around here, all around, close your eyes, sweetie, up over the eyes and over the nose, up over this eye and around, let me see, Dave, towards me and making a circle around where the muzzle is going to be, like that. And coming all the way down to the jawline on both sides. Coming back in here, I'm going to darken it just a little bit around her nose. The paint pigmentation didn't come off quite like I like it. It's dark, so we'll just go back through, dog that in, all the way around. <laughs> Load up my sponge again. And this time I'm gonna go reverse, because I wanna match the purple. And I'm gonna come back purple to purple and go around the top part of her face, up over her forehead. Just like that, all the way around, filling in wherever there's skin. You just want it to be covered nicely with daubed paint. Using some black diamond effects and my large round Martha Stewart sponge. I'm going to get the sponge wet, the tip of it, squeeze it out, and rub black paint all over it. This is the perfect size for the muzzle that we're going to put down here on Isabel's lips. Keep your mouth shut, sweetie. And just go right around here. It's going to be darkest in the middle, and then we're going to fan it out a little bit on each side, just daubed around so that it's kind of faded, just like that. Using the same black and my number 10 filbert, I'm gonna come through here, get it nice and loaded with paint, and we're gonna come up into the muzzle and push it into where her nose is and up along underneath her nose where it's gonna be ticklish, and I'm flicking it up so that it kind of blends up into the top of her nose, but with no real definite line. <laughs> that tickle. <laughs> and then I'm gonna fill in also around her lips. Make that filled in nice and solid. Still using this number 10 filbert and this black. We're gonna give her some pretty thick, dark lashes. Close your eyes, sweetie. I'm gonna go across her eyelash lid, her line, and flip up. And zebras have really thick lashes. That's why I'm using this thicker brush instead of using one of my thinner ones because this just makes it nice and thick. Coming across on the other one, the same way, flicking up three lashes. And I might need to come back down here and just smooth them out. Don't open your eyes yet. And I'm going across a, a considerable amount of her eyelid. And we're gonna wait for that to dry before she opens her eyes. Okay, I'm gonna dig back into this black with the same brush. Nice and thin paint. And we're gonna go right up from the muzzle, really thin. I'm gonna use the tip of the brush to start thin, right here where the nose muzzle comes. And then I'm gonna push thicker and twist it and then come back to thin again. And we're gonna put several stripes coming up her nose. And we're gonna try to make it symmetrical because zebras are pretty symmetrical. Start here. Come thin and then push thicker and then back to thin again. We're gonna keep coming through here. I'm gonna put some more along here. And we're gonna try to get really thin and then thick and then thin. Just play with your brush through here, thick and then thin. And then come up 
here, thin, thick, thin, thin, thick, thin. Load up some more black paint. And we're still starting at the nose and we're gonna come over and do her cheeks, starting here. Thin, thick, thin. And come back and do some more along here. Thin, thick, thin. Do a little bit thick at the end there, just to have some variation. And then do one more down here, starting underneath the, the area that we were at before. Thin, thick, thin. And then the other cheek, we're doing the same way. Come right here by the nose, thin, thick, thin, thin, thick, thin, thick again. And then down here, we're gonna do one more, thin, thick, thin. We just need to dance a few little stripes around her eyebrows. So we're just gonna come through here, thin, thick, thin, On the other side, the same way. Thick, thin, thick, thick. Good. And we're going to top this pretty zebra mask off with a couple poofs of glitter. Put your head back and close your eyes. Good girl. Put it right on top. And that dusts it with some really pretty sparkles. There you go. Put your face back up. This is such a fun and simple zebra mask. Just a little bit of rainbow colors on there and some black stripes and a little black muzzle. And it's gonna go really well at your shows. Thanks for watching. Was that helpful? If you liked it, click the like button. And if you have questions about it, or if there's something you want me to do a tutorial on, write it in the comment section below. But don't forget, you need to subscribe. Oh, and check out my other videos.